Welcome back once again to the Trans QX7 series of videos, link in the description below. I actually took a break from the last five videos and went to the bar for a bit, so if this video sucks, I do apologize. Just kidding, no I don't. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. So our RSSI warnings are already set up and it's going to play that audible warning once your RSSI gets too low. That is if you did install the memory card and the SD card contents like we did in the other video. But if you want low voltage warnings, as well as other stuff, like uh, maybe if you fly too high, your altitude warnings, um, or if you want to create any switches for it to say a specific value or thing, and much more, we need to add that. It's not, it's not going to do it for you. So the very first thing we want to do is hold both these in, power it on, plug in the USB cable, and we need to figure out what we want it to say for those certain instances. So what I would recommend doing is taking a piece of paper, writing down what you want it to say for certain things, um, like your voltage warnings, altitude warnings, so on so on. Flight modes, arming switch. So if we go to our SD card and then the sounds folder, and this doesn't matter if you uh, just put in the SD card and upload the SD card contents like we did in the first video, or if you're using the Amber Sounds Pack, which I showed you in a separate video, doesn't matter, it's going to be the same thing. You just want to come to your sounds folder, and you can click on any of these, and it will you can hear what it sounds like. Copilot off. And you have so many of these. You want to fly that past me one more time? Oh, by the way, some of these are pretty serious, and some of these are funny. That is if you are using the Amber Sounds Pack. So for example, Pink Monkey. If you want it to say Pink Monkey, you can make it say Pink Monkey. So the point is, go through here and write down the names of the sounds that you want. After you're done doing that, disconnect the USB cable, click exit. Hey JC, welcome back. Press the menu button, and we want to page over to logical switches and special functions. We will use a combination of both pages. So first let's talk about uh, our low voltage warnings because that's probably the most important. So for L1 click the enter button, click edit. For function you'll see a bunch of these A equals X, greater than, less than, you got your ands and ors and zors for you uh, programming guys. But for voltage, we are going to do A is less than X, where A is the voltage, X is the actual amount of voltage. So click A is less than X, then for V1, we want to choose the voltage sensor. And by the way, you do have to have telemetry already set up and going, which we have already done in a separate video. So look in the description for the link to the playlist if you haven't watched that one yet. Okay, so VFAS. I'm editing this video and I noticed that I picked VFAS minus. You don't want to do that. Just pick VFAS, no minus sign, no plus sign, or else it's not going to work. Now we want to choose the voltage uh, at which that will be the low voltage. And I'm actually going to do two separate ones. I'm going to have one for my low voltage warning and I'm also going to have a critical voltage warning. So for my low voltage warning, uh, I will do about 13.9 you can place it to however you want, I just like it there. And uh, we don't have to do an AND switch. Don't have to do a duration because I only want it to say it once. I do want a delay because as you do those full throttle punch outs, you may have noticed on your on-screen displays that your voltage will sag a lot. So it's going to sag below 13.9 very often and it's going to say low voltage, low voltage, low voltage every time you do that unless you use a delay. And I'm going to set my delay to... I would set this to however long your longest full throttle punch out is. I would say whenever I go full throttle it's never longer than I'd say three seconds. But just to be sure I'm going to do three and a half. And it doesn't have to be full throttle. Even when you go three quarters throttle the voltage can sag below 13.9. But right now this means it has to be below 13.9 for at least 3.5 seconds before it will warn me. So that way, whenever it does warn me, I know that it's a real warning and not like a premature warning. Now let's click exit, exit again, 
let's do the uh, second voltage warning okay there's my second one I set it to 13.5 volts at three and a half seconds let's back out now we need to page over to special functions to actually make it play a sound because we only told this this is a formula for L1 and L2 but we need to finish the formula in special functions so let's click this and we will find L1 okay there's L1 let's go over and you may think that this is play sound but it's not it's actually play track I have already picked my sound out so I'm just gonna scroll down and look for it and I'm gonna do GGL which is giggle it's a very short track so it's not gonna get on my nerves when I hear it all the time now here you can do the uh, basically if this is one or more it's just gonna keep playing it so I'm just gonna leave this alone I only want it to play once now let's exit go to L2 and do the same thing this time it's gonna say battery critical let's back out and we're done with voltage now let's do another. Uh, I'm going to give you a different example that's going to be a little bit different just to give you an idea of what all you can do with this. This time I will do A is greater than X because this will be my altitude warning. And I'm going to set this to the legal limit which I believe is 400 feet. I'm not going to do an AND switch, duration, or delay. So as soon as I hit 400 feet it's going to tell me. Let's go to special functions, find L3. Okay, we're going to test these in just a second, but let's finish up uh, this tutorial. Now let's talk about switches. So in my switch setup video, I made this my arm switch. Let's make it play a track for when I arm. This time we don't have to go to logical switches. We can do everything from the special functions page. So I'm going to click enter and then flip that switch. And you actually need to put the switch in the position where you want it to play that track. So I want it forward for when I arm which is going to be SF forward we'll do play track I'm just picking random sounds by the way I'm doing a separate video where we will create our own custom sounds now I'm going to do the same thing for my flight modes I made this my flight mode switch with angle horizon and acro so let's put this in the position for angle and do the same thing now we can use the same switch again just press that and I'm going to put it in the middle position and again for the top position okay now what if we want it to say what a certain value is whenever we flip the switch so for example I didn't use this switch for anything whenever I created my different flight modes and other switches so let's go here I'm going to flip this up this time instead of playing track we're going to play value and I will set this to my voltage sensor so this will be for you guys that wear goggles but you don't have an on-screen display you can flip the switch and know what your voltage is now it's time to test everything out so let's plug in this battery okay what if I arm <laughs> What about my different flight modes? Cheat mode active. Follow me mode. Race mode. What if I want to know what my voltage is? 15 volts. It's saying 15 volts because this one is at 15 volts. What if I change batteries? Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. RSSI critical. I think this one is at 15.2 volts. 15.2 volts. Now let's page back to logical switches. The way you can test this is if you go to edit and then go to the value and you bring this voltage above what the voltage of your battery is. So right now we know this battery is at 15.2 volts. <laughs> and that's that giggle I was talking about. It's just short and not annoying. Now what about the critical voltage? Battery critical. Okay, that one works. What about my altitude warning? Instead of going above, you know, what's currently at, you have to go below. So, 
We're gonna bring this below zero. Bombs away. Bombs away. So that one works as well. And that's gonna do it, guys. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how this works. Like I said, you can you have endless possibilities wherever you can imagine you can do with this. But stick around, like I said, I will make a separate video showing you how to create your own custom sounds. That's going to do it for this one though. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.